This is the new scenery at Binford Airport. Uh, we're actually leaving, but you're going to see this a lot sooner than the rest of the films because everyone's interested in this place at the moment. Um, Canal's already been with Max uh, when they went with Jeremy and Claire and checked out the joint. Ready, everyone? Hello. Hello. Very excited. Exciting. Where are we going? We're going to the airport. Max, not sure about the, this jeep. There you go. That's Max doing the filming for Daddy. What are you filming? Oh, no, it's our face. Hi. Daddy. Hello, <laughs> Daddy. Daddy at work. I reckon all these police come out just for us. I think so. Here we are. International departure here too. Hey, at the airport. Go, go, go. We should go downstairs. We'll go downstairs, yeah. yeah. Okay. Lead the way, Mr. Barney. All right, go. <laughs> <laughs> views. Awesome views. Awesome views. Max, what are you doing? Max, let's go. Max, Max, look, bus. Max, exciting. He's excited to see bus. Look, you can buy snacks if you're hungry after you arrive. actually going to using the airport because I thought this might be interesting to you guys. This is the departure hall. It's pretty big. Feels pretty empty. It's not much um not much happening which is good. We're just weighing our bags now. And we had a a bag of I like to call it contraband, a bag of things. Um, how much was the bag of stuff? Like 19? Bag of what? The fish. 16 kilos. 16 kilos of fish and fish like products, folks. Um, we're taking, and these two bags are about 20 odd each. Uh, we even them out. So that's 21. That one's probably about 23. We even them out. Uh, a lot of the hard stuff we left here, we've just taken back some new clothes and whatnot. Max seems to be enjoying the, the free space like a chook, free range chook, running around, living his best life. And people are starting to slowly come in. Right, we're finished checking in. Max is off like a bolted horse. These things glide like new cars. They are magnificent. The bearings are good, they haven't been flogged. It's nice to be one of the first people that use these trolleys. Um, they're still learning a few things at the check-in. A bit of uh, mucking about here and there, but we got through pretty smoothly and, and relatively quickly, to be honest. We are now going to immigration or this special section where Canal's going to get her seven bucks back. Right, oh, so this is a very unique experience. Canal gets a stamp on her ticket. Tax return. Tax return. So how much are you getting here? Seven bucks. Seven bucks US? Yeah. Don't spend it all at once. Uh-oh. He's already starting to think about spending it. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> he cried because it's not enough. Yeah. Oh, they take a photo. Probably on their personal phone. Everything on, phone. everything everything on the old whatsapp personal phone no worries shared on facebook no. are you are you falling over on purpose now buddy she's on um, telegram yeah sorry telegrams now have a look at the views out this window come here buddy don't these airport grounds look marvelous very very nice nice buildings you're in a nice city the uh, drive up was beautiful too on the new road. The new road is small, could be bigger. It won't cope when it really takes off. What's that, buddy? Tuk oh. tuk. Oh, you saw a tuk tuk. That light in front of me, like it's a bit glary in here. So you've got this big bright light down there. Quite a lot of natural light. Everywhere else is a bit dark. 
which is a bit funny. I wonder if there's some lights that will turn on at some point. Immigration, we're gonna go all the way up to immigration with our uh, bags and stuff before we go through security. And we're gonna dump this trolley here. Because that's what it seems to be the done thing. And there's one over there. There's a stray one. I'll just put it with the other stray. Give it some company. There we go. Match made in heaven. Right. We went through customs and security. And now we're actually inside the terminal. This looks like, I think, the first time we've seen a fully operational terminal here. Kenal's been sitting here with Max whilst I disassembled and reassembled my entire contents of my bags. Kenal was still asked for some coffee money by the guys at customs. So one of the things, they've still got the signs out that says they don't need to pay money here. But a polite way they do it is they ask you if you've got some coffee money. And they still asked her for some coffee money. Um, there was a thousand people stamping your passport, but there was only two lines open for security. So that was a bit annoying, because customs was pretty quick. But then it took about half an hour to just get through bloody security with not that many people here. Anyway, we need to go find somewhere. Hey? I need to drink, I need some quick buy or something. Well, let's go find something to eat and drink so we can have a good old fashioned sit down and Canal can have a rest because she's not feeling flush. And I can have a sit down as well. That looks about right. Travelling with a toddler. So, what have we got around here? Duty Zero, luxurious duty free shop. We've got the coffee club, a very, very small coffee club. Max making some uh, female fans already. Oh, this uh, Duty Zero by CDF. Is that the Cambodian Defence Force? I don't know. Looks like it's some big shops all the way around. We've got another shop over there. Oh, and what gate are we? 10. Okay, so we're going through the gate 10, which is the right way. Oh, yeah, they've got some polo shirts and some things in here. This is all the fragrances. You just keep tying yourself out, mate. Exactly what we needed to do. Doesn't this uh, architecture look very imposing? There's a shop here called Amazing Cambodia. <laughs> what is going on? He's having... What'd you, what'd you like about your trip, buddy? I don't know, the wide open spaces of an airport. Yeah, so to our left here, it looks like a kiosk sort of area. Um, we've got like a food cart over here. And I reckon that might be the extent of the restaurants, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just uh, survey this uh, whole thing here, which is called Relay. Oh yeah, it is literally a kiosk with an open fridge over there and some dried chips and whatnot. It doesn't look like there's much else going on here, actually. I think uh, we might be shit out of luck for anything mildly interesting to sit at. Have a cuppa. Is this the restaurants, is it? Doesn't look like there's much. There's a coffee club outside. Yeah. Small stands of coffee Do you need something? Yeah. Let's get a load of the, uh, the gates here. The wonderful tarmac out there. It looks huge compared to the uh, the old airport. This is a far, far bigger facility. You could kick a footy between the other place from one end to the other. This is uh, massive. This is one side and the runways and whatnot are out there. She's just a little bit too bright to film. And although there's no restaurants here, just a kiosk, you've got these machines. These machines are by this brand called Haya. Machine, yeah. You can get warm water, you can unlock it, and then you can get warm water, oh sorry, hot water. So I think it's like a, I don't know, I don't know why you'd want that. I suppose that's a good thing. And then you can dispose of your water there. Your wasted water. Maybe it's to warm up your cuppers. Ah, it's for your noodles. It's for noodles. I bet you can buy noodles from that kiosk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bingo. Next to um, these machines here, you've got these lovely charging stations. So you've got all the USBs in the world. You've got a Australian style plug, upside down Australian style plug. You've got USB-C, USB-A, and a couple more over here. And I think, can you move these? Are these uh, movable? Yes, they are. Max, that, let me hold that, please. There we go. 
these are movable so you can have them bunched up wherever you like oh geez the sun's bright on this side thought we'd have a look as well there's your traffic control tower oh that is hot right there there's your tugs down there your air bridges that is that is a big airport folks there's a bit going on, well there should be a bit going on out there, but it doesn't look like there's one plane, the whole joint. Oh, and we're outside. Look at this. It's a pretty big durry area. If you want to come out here and have a have a cheeky before your plane goes, you can. That folks had a couple of cheekies already, I reckon. Um, shit, it's hot out here. Oh, you okay, buddy? Good boy. Yeah, she's warm out here. Obviously, there's no air conditioning, but there's a uh, a green spot, spot to sit. Some nice plants, some sand, well kept. I'll tell you what, with this sun hitting this um, wood, I don't give it much hope because uh, yeah, that's proper wood. This is going to fade and warp and bloody do the things that wood does here in Cambodia. On the other side, you've also got this shaded smoking area, or I suppose this will be in the sun in the morning, and the other one will be in the shade in the morning. So you've at least got a shady spot to have a durry. Well, this is the, hey? We've just come to the baby change room. So you can see the cleanliness of the baby change room. It's air conditioned here, it's very, very cool. You've got a baby change table here, which you can fold out and change your child on. Max is looking for the air conditioner, but I've just noticed this. Someone's charging their bloody phone in here. Would it be a Cambodian's place? If someone wasn't semi living in a public area like this. <laughs> What's that? Bin, good boy. <sighs> I've changed my tune on the baby area. Even though you've got your own climate control here, there's nothing, there's no soap, there's no towels, there's no paper towels, there's no plastic bags or anything to wrap his crap up in. It's just basically what you're bringing. So now I'm gonna have shitty hands so I can wash my hands in the gents. So lift your game. One last feature we just found. This looks like one of those um, things, like a bin. You put your dirty stuff in, but it just goes to here. Like there's this. It could just be joof, down here and I threw Max's shitty nappy just into a cupboard. The bin's actually over there and I've smeared that in his crap and I've got nothing else to wipe that with so tough shit, literally tough shit. Alright, I've got to go wash my hands proper now. That was a smelly bum. Doesn't look like there's anyone in the gents so here's a quick look. Dunnies look alright. Air conditioned, clean, pisses look good. I love a urinal divider. Just keeps things nice and tidy. Sinks look good and tidy. An easy turbo. And I need to use this. Tell me there's soap. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. Cleanness. And there's a kids, kids basin. Or a basin for short people like me. That's pretty cool. I don't get this either. They've got the hand thing here. You dry your hands here. here. Is it? Is it a hand dryer? Yeah, it is. And then you've got a bin here, but they've also put a bin there, just in case I don't know why like, you'd need two bins for the same product. All right, let's go board. Come on. Let's go. He's got your glasses. Come on. Hold on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Don't lose them. Special boarding privileges because of him. I went to the toilets over here. Yeah. Blocked. <laughs> so I have to run down to the other one. So there's still still a few things that they need to sort out, I think. Uh, hi. 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 Anyway, we're about to board. Well, we got on and they were off. Uh, they said they had to remove the air bridge, which they've just done. And you can see, uh, yeah, better close the door, old mate. They're still just a little miss missing that little bit of attention to detail when it comes to this one. He is now so disappointed. Because he thinks he's not going on a plane. Max, we're going a different way. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, Airbridge is coming back. You can see it through there. 2,000 blokes down there. Don't know what's going on. They're putting jumper leads to this plane or something. So now we're back here. 
we're already checked in. We're already, uh, we've already had our tickets scanned because of a child and those poor ladies that were in uh, wheelchairs wondering what the hell's going on. Um, guess we'll wait. Still here. A long time has passed. The sun is now setting. Um, there's an entourage over here and an entourage down there. It looks like they're trying to change a spare wheel or something. There's a wheel out. There's a guy there. Looks like he's got a jack. There's about 30 people down there before. And they're still putting bags on the bloody plane. So I don't know what's going on. Bags are going on. Wheels being changed. People standing around. Oh, hang on. Oh, we're on. We're on here. All right, finally. Spoke too soon. Let's get on his plane and get out of here. Fan. Fan. <laughs> Vietnam Airlines plane over there. Bum, bum, bum. That's it, there's the view of the airport from Point Side. Hey, it's sticky. Here, hold my hand, buddy. Hold my hand. Uh, 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 uh. Hold my hand, hold my hand. It's dangerous. Dangerous. and looks like a toolkit from Super Cheap. Hang on. Change the bloody plane wheel. That is nuts. They've just picked, they've just bought that. She's still on the phone. Oh dear. Alright. Go, 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 go!